Welcome back, everybody. My next project is going to be a small pagoda lantern. Kind of a Japanese style thing. Um, basically, I'm going to make it... I've designed it to be made out of this uh, quarter-inch aspen... Uh, it's actually a five-and-a-half-inch wide board. So, I'm kind of made the dimensions around that side. I'm going to start by making the base. I've kind of got all the layers planned out to it, but... Uh, you know, here's a representation of what it might look like when it's done. But uh, basically, I'm going to cut out four pieces like this. It's going to be a lot of interesting angle cuts on the scroll saw. The sides are going to be cut at 45. Uh, the bottom will be cut off at 18 degrees. And they'll all kind of... I'm going to edge glue the sides together. Probably have a little um, foot that they go into to help hold things together as well. I'll get this attached to the board and cut two of them out and see how they fit. Alright, I have my table at a 18 degree angle here. I'm going to cut off the base here, just get things down to a smaller size for, so it's easier for me to work with. That back so it's a little smoother. Okay. Should work out. table back to its set spot. Let's see. The top I'm just going to do a, a straight cut. It doesn't matter if an angle shows on the bottom, no one will see it anyway. And I'll just cut the section here. Okay. I think I'll just do my 45s now. 45s are a little hard to cut on the scroll saw, but uh, should be fine. Alright. I'm guessing you probably didn't see that, but that's alright. Alright, then the other 45. Hmm. See if I can do this. All right, I cannot go that far with my table, so I have to do them both on the same angle here. I moved the camera to the other side, so you can see. I mean, it's hard to tell that this is at an angle here. I mean, this would be level. So I'm at my 45. I've cut off this, and now I'm going to turn it around. It's a little harder because I don't have any. I didn't anticipate this, so I don't really have any edge to start with. Okay, here we have the two pieces, or the first two sides cut out for the base. They're going to line up quite pretty much like this. So it lines up real nice. The 45s can't look to have come out real good. Um, actually, if I cut it too sharp, it's better than I cut it if I cut it too wide. Although the aspen is fairly compressible. So here's all the sides. I just kind of taped them together to hold them together for now. Make sure they all line up pretty good, and they do. And this is essentially what the feet are going to be that I'm making, that, that this will nest in. Um, fortunately though, I wanted it tighter, so when I cut out the next piece, so I'll, I'll make that a little tighter. Because so that came out looser than I wanted, but it doesn't really need to be tight. It'll be secured in there with glue anyway, but um, that's the general idea. So the way this is going to work, i got an access hole in here, and I'm going to just drill the back section, I mean, cut the back section out, the blade straight, then I'm going to tilt it to 18 degrees, then cut out the interior at 18 degrees. Granted, this side and this side wouldn't need to be, those could be straight as well.
So now I have my uh, taper cut, both sides. It's tapered in the corner too, and if I needed to, I could file that. But uh, that should come out nicely. It is glued together. Now I just need to cut it down to the line. I'll have my foot. Let's see. This way, maybe. have it. A little wavy, my blade's getting really dull, so I time to change that out. But, uh, there's the foot. At this point we have the, uh, the base, the feet cut out, all four feet. I just kind of clip on the ends like so. Not sure if I mentioned this already in the last uh, segment. Oh, now they're falling off. All right, that's just Slip them back in. Anyway, in the finished product, this will, those will be glued on. But uh, until I have the whole thing done, I'm just going to be doing the dry fit. So, next piece is to uh, do a platform that goes right here. Uh, there's actually going to be two layers to the platform. This is the first pattern for the first layer. Um, this is from a bottom perspective, so it'll be actually going down on here. So if we do this, you should see that it somewhat lines up. Um, let's see here. But it's, and what we have to do is maintain the same 18 degree angle when we uh, cut these holes. I, I'm, I added a center hole here. I'm going to do on both layers just to help align things. So I'm just going to drill that uh, quarter inch to match a doll I happen to have laying around. So let's get her done. So I have my holes drilled. I kind of just took a stab at it with, by hand with a hand drill to uh, to uh, get my, my 18 degree holes. It seems to have come out alright. Um, I do that because it's nearly impossible to get my drill press level. So it's... Now there's no taper needed on the ends. But I'm probably going to just cut one there just the same, for um, just for the ease of it. Because the, it'll open up wider on the other side, but that side will be sandwiched together with another board and you'll never see it. So it doesn't matter. Each hole is going to take two passes because um, a little bow to the board. So I'm going to do that one. Then I'll do the short ones here, here. Well, that's a long one. We'll do that one next. I'm sure, by the time I'm done cutting it out, I'll have a method worked out. So, I got them all cut out. I was just uh, testing them in the slots. Uh, earlier I had commented that uh, Aspen was a relatively compressible wood. Usually when I, 
the aspen I buy when I buy it it's um, real soft and fuzzy but this stuff is hard and uh, I actually had to do a lot of shaping with the file and some sandpaper a little, a little trimming with some carving tools to get them to fit even now it's still a little tight so they, they, they all plug in just like that and we can slip the feet on while we're at it here flip it over So this will be the base of the pagoda. I think it's coming out nicely. I just cut out the uh, next layer that's going to stack right here. Um, going to double in here to line it up. When I, eventually I'll glue them together and when I do so I'll make sure the grain doesn't line up because there's a little warp to it and I'm just going to cross the grain. I'll just eye it up from there. I'll just cross the grain and clamp it to a flat surface and that'll take care of that warp. Now I've started working on what are going to be the panels that go around on the lantern. Uh, essentially they're also angle cut 30 degrees on each side and then it's basically fretwork cutting out the pattern within. And they'll just basically go on these notched holes here. I haven't cut this one out yet. I'm not going to show that part on the scroll saw because, quite frankly, it takes quite a while to cut one out. You know. but, uh, essentially, they'll end up forming a hexagon. I actually made a uh, 3D print because so I was modeling it in uh, 3D software as, the, as I was doing the design as well. So, this is essentially uh, what it's going to look like. So at this point, I have a lot of uh, cutting to do, so I'm going to break here. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I hope you come back and uh, see me finish the top piece.